My name is Jason Harlow. Welcome to my V Office Hour. I'm going to go over my solution for Physics 132F, Fall 2010, Test 1, uh, Problem 1 from Version 1. This is based on Knight Chapter 24 material. So first, let's carefully read through the problem. The near point, the smallest distance at which an object can be seen clearly, and the far point, the largest distance, at which an object can be seen clearly, are measured for six different people and listed in this table. It says, Avishka, near point is 40 centimeters, and far point is infinity. Berenice, uh, 30 and 300. Chadwick, 25 and 500. Dania, 25 and infinity. Edward, 80 and 200. And Francesca, 50 and infinity. Okay. Which of the following choices lists all the farsighted people ranked by the power of the lens needed to correct their hyperopic vision? They are ranked from the largest to smallest power required. And then there's a list of various names. Okay. So the way we should do this is first figure out from this list which of the people are farsighted. And then we need to rank them uh, based on the power of the lens needed to correct their farsightedness, which is the same thing as their hyperopia. So, and we want to rank those from the largest power lens needed to the smallest power lens needed. So let's take a look at uh, my solutions that I posted, shall we? Looking at my solutions here, uh, we see from the text, chapter 24, that farsighted or hyperopia, same thing, means the near point is greater than 25 centimeters. Okay. And so we can just look through that list, and the arrows point to Avishka, Berenice, Edward, and Francesca all have near points that are greater than 25. And only, only Chadwick and Dania are not farsighted. Okay, so that's the first part. We've determined which of these people are farsighted. Now we want to rank them based on the power of the lens they need. Now, okay. Let's not look at the solutions for a sec. Let's just think about this. If your near point is 25 centimeters, you're not far sighted. You don't need any lens. That's another way of saying you need a zero power lens and your vision is correct. Okay? If your near point is greater than 25 centimeters, then you're going to need some non-zero power lens, right? So it seems intuitive that the larger your near point is above 25 centimeters, the larger power lens you'll need. So right off the bat, we can see the highest power, the highest near point is Edward, and then down to Francesca, Avishka, Berenice, and D is the answer, ranking from the largest near point to the smallest near point, which is going to be the same as the ranking for uh, largest power to smallest power. So we're done. However, I'd like to take a look at what I did in the uh, in these solutions what I did is I actually followed example 24.4 uh, from the text it's a good thing to look over just in case you ever do need to calculate the power of a lens where you do that is you set the image to be a virtual image which is at the distance of the person's actual near point and uh, and then set the object distance to be 25 centimeters where you where you want it to be. And well, let's take a look at the. So looking at my solutions again, uh, the equation is uh, p equals one over 25 centimeters minus one divided by the near point distance of the person, which I've called x and p in the solutions. So you just plug in. Uh, the values of the near point for the four farsighted people, and you get Avishka, uh, power is 1.5, and that's meters to the minus 1, same as uh, diopters. Berenice, uh, power is 0 0.7 diopters. Edward, power is 2.8 diopters, and Francesca, power is 2. So if you rank those, you get from largest to smallest, Edward, then Francesca, then Avishka, and then Baron. So that's it. That was two ways of doing it. The fast way, or the more detailed way. Uh, both cases, the answer is D. My name is Jason Harlow, and I approve this message.